Hello again gamers, welcome back to the next episode of the Let's Play. Right, where are we at? If you have one more if you have more than one million in cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. This might sound a lot, but don't worry, once you release a hit game you'll get to this amount easily. Right, so, so to, basically to move out we need one million. Venner, creator of the Master 5 console, has announced the Venner Gear. A portable console to directly compete against the game link from Nintendo. The spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Venna gear has basically the full power of the Master 5, except that you can take it with you. The Venna gear also has a full colour screen, that uh, makes it all better. Will this device topple the gameling? We will see. The Venna Gear will debut in two months. Oh, I haven't even bought another console yet. That's what I need to do in this one. Alright, so that is that still Salon? I guess it is. Ah, it's just been brought off. Alright, time to have sold just under 6,000 and just over 41 in sales. Alright, we need to make some money so we can get another. Um, console to work on. So let's try the time traveler with a twist. Still not sure if that's how you say it. Don't say it, sorry, spell it. Uh, let's try something different this time because alternate history didn't go down too well. If we do. Uh, let's maybe go for a zombie time traveler. Time traveling with a twist. Let's do it as I suppose we need it. RPG. Not sure if I've done that yet. How oh, we can do it on the game lane. I suppose we might have to try that for this one. Hopefully it's alright. What should we do? Yeah, let's go for that. Ah. You require a developer license to be able to develop for this platform. Do you want to pay 50 grand? Uh, I suppose I've got to, we've got to try something different. I can't even do that now. 40 grand. <laughs> right, gonna have to make something else because that's just skinted me. 15. I'm gonna be in debt, but okay. Hmm, I'll be in debt, but hopefully I can do something else whilst that's doing. So this is zombies. Boost the gameplay a bit. Let's drop that so we can concentrate on the gameplay and the engine a little more. Let's scratch your head, get on with it. Oh, uh, now he's on a roll. This one isn't going to be good by the looks of it. Um, artificial intelligence. AI is always good. Drop it. Uh, Zombie game, don't need much dialogue, it's all screaming and groans at the end of the day. Today the new game platform Venna Gear by Venna has been released. Ah, that's brilliant, I just bought the license for the bloody new one. That's no good. Uh, world design is always good. Uh, we'll leave that as it is. Okay. Uh, I've got to wait for it to go on sale before I can do any contracts. Didn't do too bad, 10 and 8. Alright, we need to get that on sale to get the money coming in again. Alright, uh, got a new combo. I forgot we weren't far from levelling. Hopefully we can do that this time. Get some better games out. Yeah, uh, gonna have to release it. Need the cash badly. Right, let's see what contracts we are as we're in the red. Five weeks, 21 and 6. Easy, only two. Uh, I'm screwed. <laughs> I suppose you'll give this one a go. First review. Oh, let's see what the reviews are. Three. 
can't remember what we got for the first one. Three, three. Oh, I remember that's already better. Two. We got that on the last one as well. Pretty bad. So zombies and RPG is a terrible combination. RPG works well on PC. So keep that in mind. Something tells me I'm not going to do this one. Gonna end up losing 12 grand. Come on. Beat the timer. There's two. Oh, he's just about done it. Lucky sod. In two months, the GS4 will be taken off the market. GS4, G64, sorry. Excellent work. There's an extra 26 grand. Any more contract work? Only that. Suppose uh, it's not much of a time limit, but we do lose four grand if he doesn't do it. No, there's no chance he's doing this. It's four grand down the shitter. You donut. Unfortunately, the deadline is here. Penalty of four grand. It's never good. Alright, do a bit of research. Yeah, we don't have the money for sound still. 40,000. Let's do a new topic. Um, I was going to do sports last time, so let's do that one. Research the sport genre. Then I can do my virtual baseball, I think it was. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today at, as Govador, the creator of the popular G64, has filed bankruptcy. That's not good. Govador failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. So now we can't make anything for that so we're stuck with PC or the Game Boy at the moment. Sorry, Gameling, as it is known on here. Uh, time traveller didn't do very well. There's our sports one. Any more contracts? Yes. 14 and 4, that one's possible, I suppose. And that one. Quickly do a couple of contracts. That was quick. G64 is no longer supported. You've released four games for the platform and earned a total of 234,000. No, I didn't realise I earned that much from it. That's quite good. For four games anyway, 200 grand. Probably spent half that making it. And there was one contract done. Alright. Get as many of these done as we can because we need to get a bit of money in. We're running very low. Hopefully, it's not a spanner and fails it. Two, one, and we're done. So I'll set up 40 grand, but there's only that one contract. Yes. 3 and 18. I don't think we've done it last time. So, develop a new game. Um, let's go for virtual baseball. As I was going to do that before, but didn't have the sport genre. Sports. I suppose as a sports game, it has to be action. It can't really be casual. Um, development cost is 30000 Going to leave us pretty skinned. The 40 grand altogether, that's me skint already. Uh, we keep the 2D graphics. 8,000 in debt straight off the bat. Story and quest. Uh, as it's a baseball game, don't really need story. Engine and gameplay is the main things. Boost that up a bit. Should be a good combination. This one should sell better than that time traveller one, anyway. Uh, don't really need dialogues. Levels alright. AI. 
doing better than the time traveller already. I should make some good money back on this, hopefully. So, baseball needs some sort of sound. But graphics can go up. World design. I suppose boost it slightly. Yeah, doing a lot better than the last one. There's 14. 14, 13 should make some good money back. I hope so. I'm 30 grand in debt. <laughs> new topic, new combo. Hey, we leveled up finally. Uh, story and questing, sadly. AI is leveled up. Should be a lot better graphics. And we've leveled up. Should make it a lot better doing the contracts. Let's release it, get some money in. New research available, better user experience and open world. Uh, so we're unlocking a lot more options. New contract here. That's only that one. Let's not do it just yet. What are we doing here again? Oh yes, the save game. But best not pay for that yet. <laughs> First reviews for virtual baseball. That's a lot better, that's a 7, should sell well, 8, yes, keep them coming, give us a 9, there's a 7, 8, yeah, I think this is the best so far, sports and action is a great combination, very nice, right, let's see what it sells, 12,000 straight away. Not bad, not bad. Still no contracts though, sadly. Do with a bit of research. Uh, look at that, 97 grand. Nice, I'm glad I've done that combination. Alright, should we do open world? I suppose the sound might improve it. Um, let's start off slow, let's do the target audience. Should bring in some good money from this. 116,000, definitely the best I've done so far. Is the research done? 200,000, rolling in the money now. Yeah, thank you for that. Research target audience, oh, we've got 40 research left. Let's get the research done whilst we can. <laughs> uh, I suppose we could do with a bit of marketing. Uh, not quite sure how the marketing will work on this. Maybe it makes it sell a little better. Might be a bit more advertising in magazines and things like that. But we've definitely got a bit of money to play with now. 205,000. Can't complain at that. Right, there's the market research done. Successfully unlocked marketing. You can access marketing options in the action menu, but only while the game is in development. Uh, okay, so whilst we're making it, we can do different advertisements. Maybe it's posters and things. Virtual Baseball has achieved a company sales record with over 50,000 units sold. Uh, this is an important milestone in the history of Phoenix Industries. Two right, it's an important milestone. Hit a record, making some good money. Any more contracts? Uh, it's giving us some more now. Seven and seven. Let's get that one out of the way. Should be easily done. Uh, one. Yeah. I ran out of research, sadly. Uh, 16 grand. Every little helps. So we've got 280,000 to play with. What should we make with that? Virtual base room. 56,000 copies. Almost 400,000 units sold. That's quite crazy. Uh, developing the game engine. You can now specify what your main target audience is for your game. Games can be targeted at young people, at everyone, or at more mature audiences. Picking the right target audience for your game is important. Your target platform can also play a role. Some platforms are especially popular with a specific audience. So it's like young, everyone mature. 
Right. That should make it a bit more interesting. So, if, hmm, maybe do another virtual baseball as that sold quite well. Right, virtual baseball two. Set it for everyone as that's what it's mainly aimed at. Anyone can play it. Do the action again. So we haven't got the Vena gear yet. It's not showing up with the. Oh, we've got enough for it. License cost 80,000. 50,000, that's the same as the Gameling. So, let's go for the Gameling again. 40,000. Ah, oh, I still didn't do the sound, I forgot about that. Let's have a look at this advertisement then. Venna has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Venna Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sound which promises a new kind of gaming experience. That's the Master System, isn't it? I can't remember that. Master System Mega Drive? Can't quite remember off the top of my head. Venna said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start, it will be the genesis of a new generation, ah, oh, Sega Genesis, there we go, of gaming consoles and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest it will appeal to more mature audiences. So there's the hint, make more mature games for that one. Um, boost the engine slightly. Uh, Maybe a bit more story to it, could have a bit of a campaign, I suppose. Like play against Rod. Uh, I can't think of any baseball players now, I've never really followed it. <laughs> Apart from like Space Jam, you got Michael Jordan. He's a basketball player, I know that. Uh, we'll leave that as it is for now. Should do well on this game, it's flying up already. 10, 8. Ah, we've got to have a look at the marketing as well. I completely forgot about that. Keep that the same. So I'm going to mark it. Marketing can be very effective to reach more potential customers, but it can be very expensive too. It is best to experiment carefully with marketing to get a feel for what works best. Don't invest too much and remember that timing is important. Don't invest in your marketing efforts too early in the development or too late. Right, I may be a bit too late then by the seams of it. It is also important to know what that no matter how much money you pump into marketing, it will not make a bad game successful. To the contra to the contrary, it can even hurt it can even hurt to market bad games too much as it can upset your existing fans. So you put quite a lot of thought into this. How do you want to market it? it Cost 50 grand to put in magazines. Mm. Demo would be good, that's 150 grand. Advertising gaming magazines and distribute distribute demos of the game to give players an opportunity. 500 grand for a small campaign. 2 million for a large campaign. Oh it was saved money at the moment. We try it in magazines. Developing a great game is not the only recipe for success. It is essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game. As we all know, in the beginning, in the, oh, I can't speak now. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events. But once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. But hype 7, hype 8, not quite sure what the number means, I don't, I don't know what the highest is at the moment. Is that 9 people hyped about it? But 556 fans I've just noticed. Uh, today the new game platform Vena Oasis by Vena has been released. Yay! More money to go out. I thought the press finished. There's another record, nicely, nicely. Ah, story and quest didn't quite level up. At least dialogue did, and level design. 
Nice sounds going up. Let's bring in some money then. Uh, new research already. Better dialogues and level editor. Now we're getting more and more stuff to throw into it now. Could get quite interesting. Uh, design some simple background graphics for a game. That could be easy, five weeks. That one's a possibility. We'll try this game backdrops. Should be able to do it since he's leveled up. Got a bit more experience. Let's have a look at the reviews then. Well, pretty bad. You taking the piss? <laughs> Three. We should focus more on technology. Uh, still not too bad. I haven't had a one yet. The hell is this all about? Proposition. Something plus something. What? This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. If you're interested, then transfer 8,000 to the enclosed uplink location. Will contact you, Ancient Blowfish. Ah, so we get stuff leaked to us. That could always be handy. Eight grand's not a lot. You have just a virtual pet. There's definitely a lot of options on this. Media report the latest game by Phoenix Industries has had reviewers scratching their heads. Rather than bringing a new and innovative game to market, the company delivered another sports slash action game which is more or less the same setting. Ah, so yeah, we've got to tweak it a little bit each time. It's basically Call of Duty all over again, except I've only made two. One reviewer commented, I think Virtual Baseball 2 was simply developed too soon after the previous game with not enough innovations in technology and design. Okay, so leave it a little longer between them so then we can research other things and then pull it into the new game. Could always help. There's an extra 23, back up to two, 208,000. Got any research? Game tutorials could be handy, but I don't have the research at the moment. Let's do another contract. Let's attempt this one. It's only 5,000 if we fail. Nothing major. I've got enough. Almost got enough research. Now ah, he's popping it out. Just done it. More money than Mario. 19,000. Uh, let's see what this is all about then. Um, I don't know what to call it. I really don't. Um, 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 just call it the Phoenix Engine. I really didn't think of what to call it. Right, 2D graphics. Linear story, not really, but that 90,000. Let's create it. I'm a little confused on what he's doing there. Tutorial. You are now creating your own custom game engine. Once the engine is finished, you will be able to use it when creating new games. Oh, nice. So, so there's the 2D graphics. Okay. Not doing too badly, we're still over 200,000 with the sales. Save game didn't take a lot. <laughs> Your new game engine, Phoenix Engine, is now complete. Yay! Congratulations, your first custom game engine is now ready. You should try using it in your next game. Oh, shall I give it a go? Should get some more money that way. Alright, let's do one, one, maybe two more contracts. About three weeks, not really. Three weeks, that one might be possible. Still three weeks. I suppose you've got to give it a go. You should be able to do it, I'd have thought. 135,000, it's not too bad. Could be better though. 
Still got 200 grand to play with for now. There's that contract done. There's a 19. Let's do one more contract. Come on. There we go. I've missed a click just in between. So we've got left uh, three weeks. Three and twelve. Install Micronoft boss. You could easily do that, I suppose. Come on, you monkey, you can do it. <laughs> There's another 17,000. As we've done them, I might attempt the last one. Oh, I've done it again. There we go. <laughs> it's only 5,000 loss. Nothing too major. If we can't do it, then at least we know we have to level them up a little more. No, it's not going to do it. Literally just one or two more seconds, he'd have done that. Right, I'm going to end this video here. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching and I shall hopefully see you in the next one. It should be up very shortly. Thank you for watching and happy gaming.